Hey guys, this is Shiny. Today I wanted to share with you an amazing application that I had used for a couple of weeks and had to delete for this tutorial <laughs> from my phone. Um, pretty much just the background on this application is that uh, you can search from YouTube and add the music or the videos from YouTube into this application and it gives you the ability to, you know, kind of get out of the app um, which you don't have the ability to do in YouTube. So like if you play or something in YouTube and if you like kind of go back to your home screen, it pauses or it stops the video itself. In this alternative application, it doesn't do that. And you also have the ability to skip unlimited time without listening to any ads whatsoever. So obviously it's an amazing app. First thing we need to do is we need to go into the app store. Once you have app store open, go ahead and type in Musi. Scroll down and you will see Musi as the first option. This app has almost close to five star guys and it's from 1.5 million users. So you can imagine how amazing this app is. So let's go ahead and install it into our device. We're gonna go ahead and open it up after it's installed. I kind of want to, you know, talk about the user interface of the application itself. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start listening. This is probably something that you're gonna have to deal with the first time you open it up and never have to deal with it afterwards. All right, so you have my library, you have playlists, you have search, you have more. More is where you can find backup recovery transfer. So one of the things I'm sure you notice is that there's no option to create an account, which is super weird, but the way you can actually transfer, you know, the playlist that you create is by this code right here. So you could potentially go from one device to another with and use this code to back up all the songs that you created in the other device. So let's go back into the search feature. As you can see, most of them are like new music, top tracks, a bunch of other stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to 69. Not that I listen to him at all, it just, it's just the first in the list. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm gonna go ahead and select the plus button. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to actually play the music here. I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I'm just gonna hit the plus button. And once you hit the plus button, in default, you have an option to put it into my library or you have the option to create new playlists. So I'm just gonna call it is this hip hop? I don't I don't know what he is. I'm just gonna put trap. I don't know. And as you can see, there's a little check mark that appeared right next to the genre that you created or whatever you want to call your playlist. I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck my library. So what that means is that it's not gonna be cluttered uh, in your default my library page if you want to just have all your music in one space then leave that my library checked because it's defaulted I'm just gonna go ahead and hit done and depending on your mood you can just kind of switch between genres and as you can see in the library it's also added here so the only advertisement in this application is these kind of Google banner ads which it's not as intrusive as a pop-up or you know listen having to listen to the stupid YouTube ads. One of the great things about this app again is you can literally search for anything that's available in YouTube. So I, you can just type in for Shinu and you will see hopefully some of my videos and maybe not. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even uh, that good. I had to literally type in Shinu how to videos for me to probably pop up. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click the first. I can actually play my video here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. Hey guys, and as you can see, the video is playing, and I'm just gonna go back Facebook. to the First home to screen, to and you sure can see that, that it's still playing Facebook in the background. You're probably so not able to hear App Store. Once in App Store, audio, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it. But if you were to try that in YouTube, obviously it just tops, right? Like you, you don't have any option to have background music in YouTube. So again, this is an amazing app and you can skip through all your music or whatever you wanna do and no problem whatsoever, no advertisements that you're hey having guys. to deal with, nothing. Amazing, amazing product, guys. I hope you found it useful as I have. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your time. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. So you'll be the first one to know when I upload a video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.